This is the Cambium Networks CN Wave V1000 60 gigahertz radio. It's the first of its kind from Cambium Networks. Uh, they're, they're new to the 60 gigahertz spectrum band, and this is their low gain unit. Um, it can be used as a subscriber module or point to point unit. And today I'm going to show you what comes in the box, how it works, and a little bit more information about uh, how this fits into the rest of the portfolio. So the initial first impression of this unit is uh, I was very surprised how small and compact it is, which will make it really easy for shipping. Um, a lot of times radio manufacturers really blow how they package the equipment. But in this particular case, it's really efficiently packaged. Um, what you're going to get in the box is your radio and the documentation. When I spoke with Cambium, they really made a big strong point that they put a lot of effort into this documentation of this unit um, and all of the other products in the CN Wave platform. Uh, it's going to give you a lot of really useful information um, and it's a really good source. Uh, typically, you know, equipment doesn't come with any instructions or it just immediately gets thrown out, but this is uh, actually becoming pretty useful. Um, <clears throat> So a little bit of a deep dive into each of these pieces, what they do, how they work, and how it all fits together. Um, they're really not reinventing the wheel on anything with this product line. And the main reason that they did that is that they're trying to keep the cost as economical as possible. <clears throat> Some things that I do really like, um, it includes the power supply. Uh, doesn't include the line core, but those are really cheap and easy to get, and they're country specific. Uh, you know, being a global company, uh, their their customers are all over the world, and everybody's got a different type of cord that goes into the wall. Um, <clears throat> it's got an actual gland on it as opposed to a typical door. It's going to give you a lot better weatherproof rating, give you the ability to withstand a lot more uh, different types of harsh environments, and be uh, able to be used for a lot wider of applications. Something I did find a little bit interesting, I uh, initially thought that this uh, unit here and the way it was, was missing a door, but that's apparently just how it's designed. So you've got your gland at the bottom, easily goes on, and for simplicity's sake, you've got your gland, indicator lights, and your grounding point. Uh, the reason that Cambium really stripped this down and made it as simple as possible is that they understand that the market for this product is pretty limited. Uh, as in, there are two different things this is going to be used for. Um, the number one purpose of this product is going to be as a subscriber module to the V5000, which is their distribution node, uh, referred to as a DN or an access point. And the idea being is that from a residential play or even a business play, you can take one of these and put it on the roof and you'll have a very, very simple and inexpensive, <clears throat> very simple and inexpensive connection uh, that can provide up to one gigabit. And the mounting bracket snaps right in the back and it also comes with a hose clamp um, that should definitely do the job for most people. I don't think that there's gonna be a need for anything more robust, but the mounting bracket does have spots for a pull or sorry, for a wall mount, if that's what you want to do. And there is enough space to definitely get that hose clamp through there. And if you wanted to, you could also do something a little bit more robust. Back in the day, uh, subscriber modules used to have a different voltage, but back to talking about the, the way this is powered. Uh, moving forward, pretty much all of Cambium's equipment is powered on the standards of PoE. Uh, so this particular unit's able to take that higher voltage and take the standards pin out. So the idea being on a customer site, you can use the uh, you can use a PoE Ethernet switch or the CN Matrix switch to provide uh, your PoV voltage. And the number one thing that I keep kind of hinting at is that this is affordable. It's only two hundred and fifty nine dollars. That two hundred and fifty nine dollars is getting you an over the air one gigabit link that's truly carrier grade and is able to 
pass one gig up and one gig down um, of data. And I really think that, that that's important and that's gonna be a lot of this customer base's need for it. Uh, the customers aren't gonna be using a sustained one gigabit, obviously, but when they hit those speed tests, they need to be able to hit that number. And by stripping down all of the extra stuff on this, Cambium lets you hit that one gigabit head end number for your customers installs at a list price of $259. And I think once discounts started getting applied, you'll, you'll start seeing these around the $200 price point. And frankly, there hasn't been a subscriber module that can do this uh, that's actually a carrier grade up until today. Another initial takeaway on this is that the heatsink on the back is metal. It's really nice. Uh, you can feel it's got a decent amount of weight to it. When I was talking to Cambium about this product, you know, one of the questions I asked is, hey, this is based off of a commodity, inexpensive chipset product. You know, why is it so heavy? And one of the things they explained to me is that it's not just the, the chipset and the power demands that are going to be drawing the high current out of these. It's also the unit's processing power. And this is a product line that they're building for the future. Um, they, they really put extra processing power down to their very inexpensive subscriber module unit to, to be able to handle a lot of clients, a lot of packets, and a lot of uh, traffic going over this, uh, you know, really hitting it really hard and able to not really uh, have any failures on, on the hardware and due to overheating or not having enough processing power. Um, and another really great application, that, that's number one, the being a subscriber module on the point-to-point -point system. And the second one is that this is a incredibly affordable point-to-point -point link. If you're looking to go, you know, anywhere from uh, you know a couple blocks up to probably about a quarter of a mile to 300 you know yards very maximum these units can be bridged together to be a point to point link and give you that true gigabit over a short distance <clears throat> the antenna pattern that's built into this is auto beam forming so the idea being is that you take two of these and put them together as a point to point link and it's got an 80 degree horizontal beam width for the antenna. So it's super wide. You're, you almost have an unlimited amount of tolerance as long as you're pointing in the general direction. And then the auto beam forming antennas will be able to take and peek them in to make sure that you have a great connection. Not just being 80 degrees full on the horizontal, you also have a full 40 degrees vertical. So you can have an untrained installer throw these up on both ends and have it up and configured in no time. The idea being is that if somebody isn't a traditional fixed wireless broadband provider, they can get into the space very easily with units that automatically align and provision themselves so that your installer and all they're having to do is go out and run the ethernet cabling to power up both ends of this. Another thing that uh, is, you know, one of the constant questions that we get asked is, is this a 802.11ad or 802.11ay? The old chipset equipment was 802.11ad. This is an 802.11ay chipset equipment. Uh, it's built off of the Facebook Terragraph platform. It allows more channels to be used and channel bonding to be used. And so it's, it's a chipset that's got a lot of abilities in the future and interoperability between other platforms. So this is something really exciting and it's really unique to see something that can hit this capability at that super affordable price point. This product is part of the Cambium Networks CN Wave portfolio, which includes the V5000 distribution node for point to multi-point access and also these units mesh together. Uh, here's the universal mounting bracket for the V5000 with instructions on the box and power supply and LAN for that unit. The other radio in the portfolio is the V1000 which is a one gigabit Subscriber module that's low gain could also be used as a point-to-point -point link. Comes with a power supply and a hose clamp. And the third radio in this product line is the V3000, which is a high gain subscriber module. And this is the precision mounting bracket for the unit. The telescope mount for alignment. 
and the dish and radio can be seen here with that telescope mount and that is the high gain subscriber module or point to point link and there's the power supply and gland for that unit as well. So that's my basic summary of the V1000. I also will have created videos for the rest of the CAMBM CN Wave product line and I'm going to have links to them below. So uh, please take some time and click on the individual links. Uh, I really felt that this product line was important enough to break it into multiple videos, kind of showing each of the strong capabilities of each of these units. And if you have any questions, please post them in the comments and I'll do my best to get back to you in a timely basis. And I'll also include a link below of where you can buy these.